the tie and, and a bigger deal, not that you're in it for that, but it's your opportunity to have a platform to say what you want to say. You know, I'm excited about that. I'm a lights and camera girl. Once there's more glitz and glitter, I'm performing better. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to just being Rio and absorbing everything about it. I want to do the party. I want to do the wrestling. I want to do everything that's going to be there. So I'm just looking forward to using that platform to continue speaking about how important it is for women to get into sports and just really how much it shaped my life and kind of use that as a platform and inspiration for young girls everywhere because it is amazing to know every single moment that I am proud of myself, win or lose, and, and that's something truly special. Adeline, is there any sense of relief to, I mean, you were supposed to Absolutely. <laughs> There's totally relief. I think that leading up to this weekend, you're kind of like, man, I just kind of hope it's over soon. Like, <laughs> I just want to be able to take a breath, and, and I think what I said before, going in number one, I so many people and countries come to the training center and they're talking, they're like, how are you not on the Olympic team yet? Like, you're the best girl in the world. How do they not have that already given to you? And I mean, it's one of the great things about the United States is that they do challenge us and make sure that we are the best ones for the job and, and put us through these very stressful situations to make sure that we're ready to perform on that day at the Olympics. Last month you said, I'm not an Olympian yet. I don't have that old word by my yeah. name. When I get that, it's going to be special. It is. How does it make you feel when you think about that and now I've got the old word, I am an Olympian? I, I get to say that forever and always, and I think it'll take some time to seek in, just like the world titles did, but I'll own it soon, and I'm just like, so, so excited. I get to start fundraising for my family now. That's the next step. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, both matches were not close. What do you think of between matches? I mean, you got to make sure, okay, don't let down. i got to go out and perform again, right? What, 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 yeah. Through the, the, between the two matches. Absolutely. We do this uh, double, like, best two out of three elimination rounds for our world championships, and so, our, before our world championship trial. So we are used to this platform to some extent, but at the same time, it is different. It is different to go out there and wrestle the same person two times in a row, and to keep your focus in between those matches is challenging. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been working with my sports psych a lot, just understanding that a positive thought is just as dangerous as a negative thought. And just that idea of having that O word too soon is really, you know, disconcerting and can be very detrimental for your match. And so I was able to keep focus, was focusing on just one match, one match, and kept saying the things that I say to myself before, you know, matches at the nationals or, you know, the Olympic finals or the world championship finals. So I had my system, I stuck with it, and all I had to be was myself today, and I did that and got the job done. You know, in the past, you've, you've been very good on top with upper body attacks, but today you did a lot of lower body leg laces. Have there been some changes in your in your style and your technique and practice, or? Uh, no. Uh, that was quick. Adeline, how does this feel compared to the miss four years ago? Uh, you know, I don't really consider it a miss last year. I was going down to somebody else's weight class, another world champion. Uh, we only had four spots for the women. I think that's really a shame to send 14 men to the Olympics as a, a great sport like this and only have four women. And so I just really think that was a, a wake-up call for wrestling and for kind of like women's sports to get more weight classes qualified and more weight classes added because, because that wasn't my weight. I'm not supposed to be 130 pounds and that's what I had to cut down to. I'm a 165 pound woman and that's the weight class I should be wrestling at and those are the weights that they should have their opportunities. It was a shame that the United States did not get to send me. I beat numerous of those Olympic medalists in 2012 and, and I could have medaled in 2012 and I truly believe that. And so um, I really just took that as I am very glad that that wake up call worked and that we got the extra weights and I'm where I'm supposed to be and just the fact that you know we have the United States and the entire world pushing women's sports so heavily is, is a really benefiting not just myself but also our country. Were you surprised that Jackie didn't make it and then did that change the thought process? I mean you obviously you faced somebody tonight who was some, somewhat of an upset winner in the semis. You know, I don't know if she was really an upset. We definitely thought she was a contender. She uh, was in the finals of the U.S. Nationals. She had a really close match with Jackie at the Open um, in December. And so the fact that she really just uh, had that momentum, um, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't shocking at all. She's a very tough wrestler. She's a heavy hitter, and she has great conditioning. So um, I knew it was going to be, it's, it's awesome how many girls showed up for the weight and just really made it a very competitive weight class that everybody had to fight for some matches. There was a lot of big wins there. You know, Christy Davis came back and had a little upset there. She surprised some people. I mean, she's a legend in our sport. I mean, I was so excited. I was, like, trying to warm up with her, and I didn't know she was in my weight class. So I, was like, I was like, hey, how are you, Christy? Like, you want to wrestle me? She's like, go away. <laughs> so then I found out she's in my weight, and I felt kind of bad that I was, like, trying to egg her on to help me cut weight. <laughs> is, is John Smith and, and his record and potentially Jordan, if he goes on, something that's on your radar, and you want to chase it and beat? I mean, 
no, the women's thing is, is a huge thing. I mean, obviously, uh, it makes me the best once I win an Olympic gold medal. But still, nine-time world medal. It's just that longevity and that ability to really stay consistent in this sport is amazing. And Christy Davis did that. Nine-time world medalist. And that's something that I've looked up to since I got into this sport. And she's a, a medal like kind of chase that I've looked forward to for a long time. Um, John Smith, Jordan Burroughs, I mean, those are amazing wrestlers with unbelievable credentials. And, and I, I don't know if I'm ready to chase those quite yet. We'll see if I'm going to wrestle after 2016 or see if we'll, we'll take some time off. So we'll see. <laughs> How long do you favor this versus okay, now it's time to start thinking about Rio. I mean, I don't mean physically. I know you know how to go from here to there, but mentally, when you stop thinking about this, celebrating this, and thinking about the next job at hand? Um, I think my coaches really help me with that. They help kind of when we're starting to get back to those practices. They set timetables. It's going to be challenging. I have a lot of travel coming up, and but we have a tournament coming up also, like very soon. So I mean, that's another thing that I will understand that you know it's time to buckle down and get ready. But my baby sister just turned 21 like two days ago, and I can't wait to celebrate with her and and just have her be an adult and just uh, so excited. My whole family's here, and I just can't wait. I know they said that she's going to have her first alcoholic drink later tonight. Yeah, she is her first one. <laughs> Awesome. Well, hey, best of luck in Rio. We'll be there cheering you on and keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Adelaide. Thank